Sami Nader in Beirut. He is a director at Levant Institute for Strategic, Strategic Affairs. Sami, thank you so much for joining us. Firstly, talk us through this afternoon in Beirut. We've just been hearing from our correspondent Priyanka. We could hear those drones so loudly above her as she spoke to us from Beirut. Talk us through what it's been like in the city this afternoon. It's really very tense. It's one of the worst uh, night we're, uh, we went uh, through. I, I just uh, hear the, the drones hovering very low uh, above our uh, head. Uh, uh, the blast are, uh, I mean, are, are, are huge. This is something unprecedented since the beginning of the war. And we have seen uh, a lot of bombing, a lot of killing, and a lot of uh, destruction. And, and the situation is all the more tense because uh, we, we don't know if this is the, the, the end or uh, we are reaching to a ceasefire or uh, we are uh, in a scenario similar to uh, all what happened before, meaning that we feel that we are very close to a deal and at the last moment everything uh, collapsed. We know that uh, all the Lebanese want an end of uh, for uh, uh, this war. Uh, they have paid a, a huge price uh, up to now, and uh, so they are in awaiting um, uh, a, a, lot, a lot of uh, anxiety. This is uh, today the, 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 the feeling, a lot uh, of fear. Uh, and uh, there is a real concern that this can uh, uh, continue. Um, uh, so it's a, it's a mix of, uh, of optimism, of uh, cautious optimism, but as well of uh, anxiety that uh, this can uh, drag on and on again. And Sami, we heard earlier from a member of the public in, in Lebanon that the, she believed that Israel cannot be trusted. What do you make of this statement as you speak about you know, the cautious optimism that people have about this 60-day truce? If it does get signed and delivered to the White House this evening, do you think, what do you think will come beyond that? Do you think that this woman is right in thinking that Israel cannot be trusted? I mean, based on the, the last, I mean, uh, last experience, if this uh, uh, will, uh, this ceasefire will uh, manage to, to, to happen, to become a reality, this would be uh, unprecedented because for the last year, whether in Gaza or in Lebanon, uh, every time uh, we talked uh, or we, we heard uh, talking about a ceasefire, uh, it uh, never happened. So this is why we, we were really concerned. We want to believe, given that the, the uh, Liban Lebanon officials are uh, talking seriously about uh, uh, the ceasefire. Uh, even uh, officials in Paris and Washington uh, are uh, showing signs that we are very close uh, to a deal. Even from Israel, we're uh, uh, hearing some uh, officials saying that uh, this is close to a deal, but based on the experience, we uh, we, are, we, we are concerned that at the last moment uh, uh, Netanyahu or, uh, will change his mind. We just heard on one of an international media network that the cabinet me meeting has been uh, delayed. So uh, this is one uh, more alarming sign. What if this uh, cabinet meeting is cancelled and uh, the war uh, continues? I mean, uh, it's, it's a real very, uh, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of uh, anxiety and, uh, uh, and yes, and yes, I mean, uh, uh, there is no trust uh, uh, whatsoever that uh, this uh, uh, agreement could, uh, could really happen. Sami Nader, Director of Levant Institute for Strategic Affairs, live for us from Beirut. Thank you so much and stay safe.